Well, I wasn't going to do it. At least that's what I told myself this morning, but here I am doing it. It has rained pretty much every single day the last week, and I've been caught in the rain pretty much every single day this past week. And I wasn't going to go way out into the woods, but here we go again. I'll still probably be soaking wet by the time I get there. Up, up, up we go. Warming up. There's a couple old cellar holes, home sites up there that I haven't detected in years, but we have access to. And I had this thought today, well, it's time to go back, because it's probably been like four, four years. But I was thinking about not taking the beaten trail and cutting through this. But I don't know. That was logged about 20 years ago. And being it rained this morning, last night, if I walk through that for 15 minutes, it's going to be like a car wash. Either way, I'm going to continue on, and I will see you shortly. Wow. That was something. And, yep, 36 minutes. Jeez. Well, like I said, it's been four years for the roundabout. So, let's see what we can find at this old colonial site. It went into the early 1800s for a bit, but let's do it. flashing it's pretty heavy been at it a few minutes so far the nails are hot already dug a few that sounded just like buttons but at least that's good metal buckshot buckshot. Come on, give us something good. Wow, is that it? It's like a square chunk of iron. Yep, that was it. Well, I knew today was not going to be easy up here anyways because we did put the time in before, but we have to return and maybe we will find something. Melted pewter. Actually, the fact there's still decent signals is encouraging. That last time up here, I think I found a cufflink, maybe? That was it. I remember it being really quiet. Ah, there we go. And it is... Mission accomplished. With a button. Nice. Good. Very good. Ooh. 
we always say mission accomplished because you always have them days where it's not that easy. So one button, that's all we ask for. More would be nice, but we got the button. Button. That ain't bad either. But as you can see, I'm trying to swing in between this stuff instead of the wide open spaces as usual. And I'm not more than, oh, cells right there, it's 20 feet away. That's why it sounded good. A big chunk of melted pewter. God, they must have used this stuff for everything. The pewter, the lead, that we find melted globs. Well, but as we're seeing in all this small grow back, there are targets. It's pewter. I don't know if it's what's left of a button or just another droplet. But we found it. Oh, beautiful shoe buckle frame. Wow. Nestled right in with the logs. And the thing about this site was there were lots of shoe buckle frames and actually a lot of coins. And there we go. Still yet another one. Awesome. And I should probably clean up some brush right here. So the cellar hole's right there. This is the west, northwest corner. And there's just a bunch of logs and branches down. But I remember this corner being really good. But yet we still just found a shoe buckle frame. So I'm gonna clean up for a few. more of that thick metal that I dug in the beginning and it actually does have fancy design on it huh wonder what that was it, whatever it is it's uh, all over the place it seems Definitely sounds like iron That 
it is. It's old. Well, at least this is one of the sites that there's no modern contamination. It's so far out. So you can guarantee everything, even the junk metal, is two to 280 years old, somewhere in that window, which is still fun stuff to dig. Yep, right up against or under that. That'll be fun. So what I was saying about the junk metal, I still think it's awesome to dig something up, be the first person to touch it in centuries after sitting idle for that long. And the contamination, you know, ammo does not count. Because you will find that no matter where you go. But at least it's not like it was a hangout and there's party stuff or somebody dumped up here. Huh. Well, it's a part of something old, and that's it. It took a long time to find the things that I found today, but that's what it's like reworking these old sites. But I just love this site because it's so old, and it had to be done. And I appreciate you joining me. I will see you next time.